What's up guys, this is Theron, and tonight we're taking another dive into the Parawatch Wiki. Tonight's thread was started by user 2egg on December 13th, 2019. It's called St. Augustine Monster. Let's begin. If you're looking for something to hunt and catch and brag about, this isn't your day. The St. Augustine Monster, a gigantic mound of rubbery flesh washed up on the beach in 1896. Gone for a hundred years, why is it worth writing about? You know, honestly, this is my city now. If I'm going to be operating out of here, there's room for the dead to be remembered. Even if the dead is a gigantic octopus. That night, between stranding itself on the shore again, people heard something. It wasn't in the official record, but there were some letters to the editor in the St. Augustine record. It might be a fish rag, but even fish rags can be useful if you're trying to wrap up dead guts and dead ends. It was a song. User Old Greg replies, Wasn't this just a whale or something? I mean, it's cool and all, I guess, but I don't see how it's scary. Two Egg continues, It was the kids that found it first, out early on their way to school, maybe. Or on vacation, heading to the beach before the tourists got there and made the sand stink of sunscreen and burnt snowbird. Her body was so heavy and dense that it sank halfway into the beach sand before they stumbled on it. Dead weight. My personal theory, though, is that it wasn't dead. At least not at first. Back in 64, when Dora blew through, the Historical Society lost a lot of records. But I did my homework. It didn't wash up ashore once. After one beaching, she swam back out. I've decided she's a she. I've got no evidence for that, but it's how I prefer the story. Moving on. She was one of the first blobbies to wash ashore in North America. Those blobs of unknown flesh that wash up in California or Virginia every few years. Sometimes they're whale guts. Sometimes they're not. User Joe the Commie chimes in. I don't really get why they call unknowable biomasses washing up on our shores blobbies. They're little bits of eldritch abominations, and it's not about as eerie as a beanie baby. Two egg. Blobbies have been reported washing up on numerous coastlines since 1896, although none have been the same creature as the St. Augustine monster. But it's not unique. I know there were at least two of them. There's a little scuba community in town tight-knit group. Got places to rent out the equipment and everything. I saved up a little bit of cash, cleaning houses and doing laundry. Enough for an envelope full of money to be exchanged for a little underwater photography. Didn't give them the rundown of what I was looking for, but they found it. A cave in the seawall far past the beach. The pictures they brought back made me wish octopuses could have bones. Evidence. Something to remember him by. This was where they made a home before that century got stolen from them. I know that the bits were part of him. The diver didn't agree with me. Said it was sand or debris. But what does a Norman know? User anti-anti-pope. Feels a little bit like you're speculating here, but uh, go on. Two egg. Maybe that happened here. Hits her. She left. Tried to let it all go. Current won't let her back. Comes back and he's a mess. Maybe he hits her again. Squeezes those coils around her tight until her own tentacles are in tatters. I hope not. I hope they were happy. At least for a moment. She wasn't coming back from that beaching. Accidents do happen. The sea brought her back for a moment so she could say goodbye. He waited for a long time. I went out there a few nights ago, my guesstimate for the anniversary. It was like that glowing plant stuff, floating on the water like skim on custard. But it was jellyfish. Tons of them. Just wriggling and pulsing and glowing. But only for a second. Just for a second. Long enough that I could hear that song, too. I couldn't remember the tune, but it was good. It was enough, worthy of whatever it was they had. Whoa, blobs on the beach. 
What do you guys think of all this? Leave your answer in the comments below. Subscribe and hit the bell, join the Site42 Patreon, and I'll see you next time.